quick hit can still be impactful. Mm -hmm. So here's what you need to know for tomorrow. The time frame for this mainly between noon and 7 p.m. So most of the impacts during the evening drive tomorrow. Now the wind will be picking up, but right now it looks like it'll be picking up most as the snow is tapering off. But whatever falls still going to be more of the drier powdery type of snow could cause some blowing snow issues into the night and then yet again get ready. Extreme cold to follow, though this is going to be a quicker stint of that extreme cold. Haven't moved the forecast much. Did shift the one to three inch zone a little more to the north, so it's basically Lincoln northward. Good shot to see one to three inches, I think, here in the metro around two, and then a drop off more to the south, anywhere from dusting up to one inch down toward Beatrice and Falls City. So again, the timing more of the impact than the amount of snow, and if you get Snow coming down at the wrong time of day, still going to cause issues on the roadways. Right now, we're enjoying the sunshine and the warmest day this week. Out of the deep freeze, still well below freezing, but we'll take the sunshine right now. 19 degrees in Omaha, Lincoln, 22 in Norfolk. Even with a little bit of a breeze, it feels like temperature double digits above zero. Hey. We'll take it after what we've dealt with here over the past week. High temperatures today shouldn't have a problem getting into the 20s as the clouds have been slow to move in here so far this afternoon, but expect more cloud cover as the afternoon progresses. You can see we had some morning cloud cover, a break right now, but more off to the west. Storm system out in the Pacific Northwest will be heading our way out ahead of it. A uh, little disturbance may kick up a few flurries and maybe some brief light snow showers near north of the metro tonight. I'll show you here on Storm Predictor. Three o'clock clouds moving in, temperatures in the 20s. Six o'clock, things look pretty dry. May see a stray flurry during the evening drive or thereafter. And the recent model runs have backed off on showing little bursts of light snow, but if you get caught under one of them tonight, maybe a quick dusting, but most of us looking fairly dry. Tomorrow morning, starting off cold, but here we go. By noon, the snow right on our doorstep coming down good. 2, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. By 6 o'clock, most of it's starting to taper off. But then that north wind really ramping up, ushering in the cold by Friday morning. Temperatures below zero, wind chill 20 to 30 below zero. So back again, the wind chill advisory from Thursday evening all the way till noon on Friday and then may see an extension for Saturday or possibly wind chill warning as the air temperature down to 20 below zero. Thankfully, the wind is light, but any breeze could send that wind chill down 30 to 35 below zero. But then the light at the end of the tunnel above freezing 35 above zero Ooh. by next week for those highs.